my memory goes back to when I was two. Most of the memories growing up were not, they were not that good. So I try not to dwell on the bad parts of my youth as opposed to my good parts. I remember my grandparents being, my father's parents, being taken, I went to the train station to say goodbye to them. That was probably 1942. And uh, I remember going to the train de uh, depot, saying goodbye to them. I knew then I would never see them again. They arrested my mother and my brother, myself, my father was not living with us at that time for the simple reason if we got caught, we all wouldn't be caught at the same time or caught at all. And uh, so we wound up at the uh, Gestapo headquarters and first person we met was our father. He was caught the day before. My father bribed the Germans to send us there because he knew there was no gas chamber there at that time. I get very emotional when I think about that. It uh, was a long trip, and uh, I remember the the uh, odor in the car after uh, the first day, and uh, there was no there were no uh, facilities at all. It was one basin, and in an hour or two, the odor was just unbearable from then on till we arrived in Terezin. It's not that far away from where we were. We were in a camp called Sered, which was like a transit camp, and uh, it took days to get to, to Terezin and we all couldn't lay down at the same time and, and sleep. So everybody took turns for a few hours laying down and, every, and the other half, other half of the people had to sit up to make room for the ones that are sleeping, then the reverse. And uh, it was a long, long trip. Most of the people that went to Terezin, from there they went to Auschwitz, never to be seen again. We had rumors that the Russians were going to come and liberate us. So my brother and I went to the embankment because Terezin was a fort. At, at Maria Theresa's time, it was a fort. So there was an embankment. There was a flow, there was water when the, in the old days when it was a real fort. We went to see the Germans retreat. So as they were retreating, they started shooting inside the camp. I could hear the bullets over my head. And uh, my brother and I were laying on the embankment. I remember that vividly. And uh, till they passed. And then we went back to the barrack where, where we lived with my mother. And uh, I remember getting a spanking because she knew what, what happened, okay. It was after the fact, I didn't see the point of it, but that, nevertheless, I still remember the spanking. I give my father credit for keeping us alive till towards the end. Till he caught the Gestapo person that uh, caught us and him. Your father apprehended the Gestapo agent? Yes. Who had arrested him? And us. And, he, and the family? Yes. And he went to the trial, and he went to the hanging, because we weren't the only ones. And then we left and went back to his business. We came in on the Queen Mary. I stopped being sick because we were, our stateroom was at the lowest level you could get. 
And I, I got sick once we left Southampton, and it didn't stop getting sick till we found the breakwater in New York. And so I was, by, I was standing at the, on the deck. We passed the Statue of Liberty. Very emotional. Did you like to go into any further? No, I just think it's like, I think I mentioned it a few times. Uh, I, what I think about a lot is how lucky I am. <laughs>